Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So this week for my Game of Thrones bonus video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Grave Digger theory, just because Ian McShane's been doing interviews and people are reporting that he's giving away things about the plot. I don't necessarily think that's true, but I do think he's offering some hints. Just in case you haven't heard, Ian McShane was cast in a very minor role for a one-off episode in Game of Thrones season six. The reason people are really excited is because when they asked him, what are you doing during Game of Thrones season six? He's like, well, I can't say much about it, all I can say is that I'm going to show up once, very briefly, and then you're probably never going to see me again. So that's why a lot of people are thinking that it's somewhat of a confirmation for the elder brother in the Gravedigger theory. Now because that's a theory that depends on book stuff, even though the show's already past that, I'll just go ahead and say careful for spoilers for everything that's happened on the show and everything that the show has skipped from the books. And also I should say new round of the giveaway starts now. All you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. It's just a $20 Amazon gift card. So why is the elder brother character important and why would they cast someone like Ian McShane, someone as big as him to do the part? Well, the elder brother serves with an order of monks that just takes care of people on the quiet aisle. It's just a small community in service to the seven and, and it's in the salt pans here. If you remember, that's near the region where Arya was last seen with the hound at the end of season four before Arya took off to go to Braavos. So during a feast for crows, book four, Brienne is also looking for missing Starks but she just goes in a slightly different direction. Like on the show, she went all the way up to Winterfell and camped out because she knew Sansa was there. In the books, everybody is in slightly different locations, so Brienne's in a slightly different location too. As she's traveling through the Riverlands, she winds up at the Quiet Isle inquiring about missing Starks, but she notices that there's a horse that used to belong to the Hound. The elder brother gives her some information about the Hound, still implying that the Hound doesn't exist anymore. But there's this mysterious gravedigger character who's about the Hound size, walks with an injury that seems similar to an injury that the Hound sustained. So a lot of people, myself included, think that the Hound is still alive, especially when you look at what happened during season five, when, when Arya was becoming a faceless person. When she was playing the line game with Jacken, she almost let slip that she still missed the Hound, like she still cared about him, even though she said that she did not. Meaning that there might be some unfinished business between the two of them. And I definitely think that Arya is headed back to Westeros at a certain point. So I think at some point, if not next season, then the season after, or maybe even season eight, then Arya will meet the Hound again. Seriously, there is so much unfinished business between characters on Game of Thrones. I hope they don't have to dump any storylines because after season six, they should have at least 20 more episodes. That'd be like the subtitle of their movie if they had to do a movie to wrap everything up after the series ended its run. Game of Thrones, unfinished business, all the storylines that we had to drop. Ian McShane though, there are a lot of possibilities for who his character could be, but, but I think that the elder brother is the best pick. There are a lot of people that thought he might be Septon Maribald because that's another character that gets tied up with the Quiet Isle, the elder brother and the Gravedigger, but that would require even more screen time. The elder brother serves a really important part in the story and it's very brief, so I feel like it fits his description of like a character that you're only going to see a little bit of and then never again. But you guys, let me know in the comments, who do you think Ian McShane's character is? Do you think he's the elder brother? Do you think he's Septon Maribald? Do you think he's somebody completely different? And I know a lot of you guys have been asking about Telltale Game of Thrones. They're releasing the final chapter on Tuesday. So I'm going to play the trailer here. This is the trailer for the finale. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. You are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie. If your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I would be true to the king, your grace. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This is reckless! <laughs> Let her go!
away from that! You want to kill me, don't you? Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! You can away at me. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Roderick! The gate will fall without one of us holding it! Advance! One of us has to stay! Let me save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I'll hold them off. Run, Trick! Go! Next time on Game of Thrones. The game itself has been pretty fun, but I actually, I lost all my game save data. It really sucked. I, I upgraded to a new computer, but it ended up trashing my game save. So I gotta like marathon the first five episodes of the game to play this last one. If I can get it done in time, I'll totally do gameplay videos on my game channel. If you don't know where that is, there's a link in the description. It's just called Charlie Streams. But if you haven't bought the game itself yet, it's only about 25 bucks for all six episodes. It, it's pretty fun. And the actors from the show actually do their voices for their game characters. Most of the questions I see about it though are like, you know, whether or not game stuff has influence on what's going on in the TV show or in the books. It's loosely related, like it's based on stuff in the books and stuff on the show, but I'm not expecting the show or the books to ever reference what's going on in the game. It's, it's kind of like its own separate universe. But I'll say congratulations to last week's giveaway winner, Abigail Green, you win a $20 Amazon gift card. Be sure to private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact info. We did start getting some teasers for Game of Thrones Season 5 at the end of November last year, so we might see some viral trailers in the next couple of weeks. If we do, I'll totally do videos for it, so don't worry. If you see me freaking out about Game of Thrones trailers, you'll know that they're here. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here to learn all about White Walkers during Season 6, and you can click here to learn all about the Captain America Civil War post credit scene during Ant-Man. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.